What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today I kind of got a little tutorial for you guys on uh, how to shoot a time lapse with a red. <laughs> Recently, on this TV show that I'm shooting right now, I'm shooting a lot of time lapses on the red. And there's kind of this time lapse mode on the red that a lot of people don't even know about. I was posting little behind the scenes snippets to my Instagram story, and even people that own the red were messaging me like, yo, how are you doing a time lapse? And it's actually very, very, very simple. Um, so what's great about the red is all the just variation of, in frame rates that you can do. And simply to do a time lapse on the red, all you're gonna do is slide from 24 frames a second down to one frame a second. Then every basically frame, you're gonna get one frame every second and it's just gonna constantly roll. And at the end, you don't even have to do anything at the end, like process it together in Lightroom and stitch all these photos together or anything. It literally just immediately with the snap of a finger, not an actual snap of the finger, but you know, that's how quick it is, compresses it all down into one long time lapse. And it's really cool the way it does it because you're shooting at one frame a second, you get a lot of this motion blur. So when it stitches this time lapse together, it's a very smooth and fluid filmy time lapse. And it doesn't come off like a very photo time lapse very sharp edges and crisp. It just has this kind of fluid motion blur to it. So that's really it. We've been shooting a ton of different, like really cool time lapses for this TV show. It's been a unique little uh, kind of cutaway transition look and piece to create a lot of energy. So yeah, a really cool effect that you guys can do. A lot of people don't know about, and I uh, just wanted to touch on it and you know, put that out there and tell you guys that I'm using that effect on a TV show. And so if you ever use a red and you wanna know how to do a time lapse, there you go. And if you are shooting during the daytime, you might have to use ND filters uh, to adjust your exposure because when you are shooting at one frame a second, the amount of light that's coming in is a lot. And so instead of stopping down to all to like F22 or something, you might wanna use some ND filters to help uh, use a lower f-stop. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, go check out all my other playlists, videos, tutorials uh, right after this video. Follow me on Instagram, at Jacob Owens. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds, and I'm out.